the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet. We're coming to you live from the CCRS studios, WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome, everybody, and welcome, fellow patriots. Welcome once again to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. I'm Rick Trader, coming to you live from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network at WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, TalkStream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM, 24-7, RedStateTalkRadio.com. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. And joining me today will be Anna Little. Anna has been detained with her day job. Also joining me today will be the Patriot from the Hoosers, Hooser State, and that's my very good friend, J.D. Manier. J.D., welcome to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Oh, it's a joy to get back with you guys, especially you, Rook. Uh, I'm a little weary from <laughs> fighting the good fight for conservative values here in Indianapolis, and uh, but it's good to be on the show. Well, J.D., let's, it, and it's great to have you with us, and let's talk about that good fight. Yesterday was the primary election in Indiana. You were on the pain to get the Republican nomination Thousands of people voted for you, J.D. Thousands of people voted for you to be the Republican standard barrier, bar, bar, standard bearer to get the Republican nomination to run for Congress in the 7th District in Indiana. Unfortunately, not enough. People saw their way to vote for you. But you, you J.D., you are one of the hardest working people I know. You are one of the best conservatives I know. You are one of the best people I know. You're a God-fearing man. I just wish more people in Indiana knew you as well as I do. But So I want to congratulate you on fighting the good fight. And I want to thank those thousands of people that voted for you. And it's always great to have you part of the Conservative Commandos radio show. And the, the loss of the 7th District to the people of the 7th District, the loss of the people of America, is the gain of the conservative commandos. Oh, thank you so much, Rick. You know, looking back, it ended up being that I finished third in, in, to the same people in 2014 when we ran. It ended up being in the same order. Uh, good takeaways. We, we tripled the, the number of voters. Almost 10,000 voters came out for us. And so we tripled what we did in 2014 in terms of raw voting numbers and, and tremendous people. Just love the people here of Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we were able to, to make more inroads and do things. You know, you've helped me chronicle the Harry Hoosier story, and, and that's just going to be something Christine and I can do the rest of the year. Uh, and, we, and we're getting such strong, stronger black support. Uh, in, in the churches and, and the voters, and and that that's a wonderful, that's a blessing. It's a blessing to tell people the truth about how we got our nickname here in Indiana. Uh, had, had a lot of neat opportunities, and you know, our national security summit was last Saturday. It went very well. We had some of the nation's top leaders and authorities, and we brought in some candidates. And it wasn't a conservative uh, sweep through Indiana. Our, our friend Marlon Stutzman was uh, ranked at the top conservative out of nine congressmen and women here in Indiana. His ACU ratings were the very highest. And he ended up uh, losing, he, he got crushed, really, in the voting. I mean, he got about 35% of the vote. Mm-hmm. I, I, I got third. Uh, and you could say, with Ted Cruz, did not do that well in Indiana. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, 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 
it ended up being just not a conservative night Tuesday. That's for sure. But we well, we can we, report that, uh, you know, Christine and I got to, to be on the inside of both camps. We, we know Rafael Cruz and Ted. We, we personally invited Ted and met him, shook hands about a week ago to come to our National Security Summit. He said, we'll get with his scheduler as well. Everybody in America knows what happened in Indiana. It was an incredible, incredible atmosphere. Yeah. And uh, Ted couldn't come, but, but he sent two of his top, Frank Gaffney and, and Claire Lopez, they were there. Mm. Uh, and then we got some of the, we got one of the deputy directors for, this, for the Trump campaign to come down and speak. And, and we made friends uh, with, with, with both campaigns, and then we spent a lot of time with the Trump campaign. And I just gotta say, you know, my wife, Christina, who appears on our show uh, from time to time, does co-hosting even, she was invited this past Monday to be on CNN, New Day Show. Mm-hmm. And uh, there she was uh, in the green room texting me that it was kind of scary, but uh, <laughs> segments, and she was defending the, uh, Trump uh, against all of the all the claims that he, he was a misogynist and that he didn't like women and all this stuff. Yeah, I, I, I saw that piece thanks to you. Thank you for sending that piece over and it seemed like the the deck was stacked up against her people for hillary clinton people for bernie sanders there was one lady there who was really undecided but it seems like the the stack was deck and christine did admirably well in making a case for 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 donald trump and by the way jd will uh, it will put that up on our website we'll put the links to those videos of christina being on cnn we'll put them up on our website oh thank you that's that's great stuff great it is and we'll also put it um pretty immediately we'll put it on our facebook group page and for anyone who would like to see them, give me a little bit of time. I'll do it during the break or during our uh, first or second guest. But uh, check it out on our Facebook group page, Conservative Commandos Radio Show. And uh, please join so you can keep up the latest on our guest and our podcast here on the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. But again, J.D., you and Christina, are you work so hard and I've heard this from so many people, people out in Indiana. Uh, Kevin Wade still talks about how hard you worked for him when you con- when you came to Delaware to campaign and to work for him. Uh, J.D., you are a credit to the conservative movement. And the, the results of Indiana go, go, just goes to prove one thing. We conservatives have a lot of work to do. This is why I say it's. this is a lifelong battle. It's just not one election or one campaign or one year. It is a lifelong battle that we have to be in this battle to, to, make, to bring our country back to the Judeo-Christian patriotic roots that was created by, by our founding fathers. Uh, yes, right on. You know, Jefferson said the price of liberty is eternal vigilance, and and we we have to subscribe to that. And and we do here at the Conservative Commanders Radio Show. It, it's, it's such a pleasure to work with such great people. And I, I must say, the the Trump people were were really excellent. And we we were at their party last night, and and we're able to you know have an effect. I think even on the Trump campaign through national security. And each week I send out an EMP newsletter that, that I think Trump's folks have been reading ever since August when uh, we were we were there down in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, got, got to meet them. And so I talked to one of his top aides, and I said, we can't let, if, if Donald wins the White House, and now we, we pray he does against Hillary, I said, we, we can't let the utility company snowball, you know, his administration, and thinking everything is fine and dandy. Uh, America needs to, to wake up to protect our grid. And, and, of course, in so many other things in terms of national defense. Mm-hmm. And so we're, we're going to try to be a, a bit of a bridge into the Trump campaign. Uh, you know, Frank Gaffney's of the world and Ambassador Ann Cooper's and a lot of great people from the Reagan team mm-hmm. are still around to, to help this this campaign and, and help help Donald Trump win the White House. And once he's there, be very effective. And uh, but, what, you know, what a great time for us to be able to broadcast, you know, the news here at Concerted Commander Radio Show. We're growing with this show. Yeah, we are, and 
One of the things I've said all along, regardless of who the candidate is, we've got to uh, support conservative candidates anywhere they are around the country. Our very good friend Sharon Engel is running for Senate out in Nevada. Our other very good friend, Dari Novak, is running for Congress up in Connecticut. And we have to find and support these conservative candidates all around the country because regardless of who the candidate is, who does win the presidency, we've got to have conservatives in Congress in the House of Representatives and in the Senate to keep these people going on the straight and narrow. God, God only knows what kind of damage Barack could have done in the last six years if he had the both the Senate and the House of Representatives the way he did during the first two years of his administration. God, God only knows what kind of damage this man could have done. And it Again, it's so important that we have conservatives in Washington to represent we the people. Can't I can't say more about that. I, I mean, I can't uh, say enough. Amen. About that. A- I can't say enough about that. A- amen. And well, JD, uh, with that, let's take our first break. And you are listening to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with JD Manier, Rick Trader, and a little. We'll be here shortly. And we're all coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, TalkStream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM 24-7, Red State Talk Radio. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. Today's show is being brought to you by the First Amendment, protected by the Second. J.D. and I will be right back. I really don't care. That's my prerogative. They say I'm messy, but I... The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We are establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired of the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 2 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 on your AM dial, or around the world on the Internet at WNJCRadio.com. Check out our website, CCRSNetwork.com, for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where now even more newsmakers go to be heard. We're David and Patty Barrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival and a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweet right straight from mother nature honey is also antiviral fungal and bacterial it's your first aid in a pouch carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag find us on facebook wildflower ridge honey or call 765-641-9972 765-641-9972 I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free. Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, 
We need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Muneer. I'm Rick Trader, and a little will be joining us shortly. And if you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of our shows, please check out our website, ccrshow.com and ccrsnetwork.com. Or mornings at 9 a.m., log on to leadingedgeradionetwork.com. At 1 p.m., roarradio.net. At 9 p.m., highplainsdailynews.com. Or you can hear our show any time of the day by calling 832-999-1199. You don't need an app. You don't need to download anything. You just need that number, 832-999-1199, to hear our show and all the great conservative programming that are a part of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. Uh, J.D., we have some great guests, as usual, lined up uh, for our listeners today. At 3.35, Cliff Kincaid, <coughs> excuse me, who is the director of the Accuracy and Media Center for Investigative Journalism. Cliff is a veteran journalist and media critic. He currently specializes in election coverage, the Fairness Doctrine, coverage of the UN, and coverage of financial bailouts. And Cliff is going to be joining us to talk about an article that he has written and is now posted on Accuracy's, Accuracy Media website entitled, Campus Conservatives and Pro-Lifers Fight for Truth. You know, J.D., we hear so much today about college campuses, how liberal they are. Well, this is a great article by Cliff to give us a little bit of hope that, yeah, there are some kids out there that do have their heads straight, on straight. So Cliff Kincaid will be uh, with us at 3.35. Yeah, and I think that's tremendous, Rick. And, uh, you know, I helped do that in 1983. Um, helped start a concerted campus newspaper up at Northwestern. was part of a team of about 12 of the students at that time. And and it, it's excellent to, to, to hear that there's still light light out there with all this political correctness. I mean, we have been inundated with political correctness on the college campuses, but we're looking forward to that interview. And, well, like I said, and and I get, you're pointing it out. You know, before we went, we went to the break, I said, this is a lifelong battle. And, and there you are. You're saying, well, when you were in college, you were in this battle. So, just goes to show. It, it was a few years back. <laughs> yep, a few years back. Yeah, we have a great guest, too, and I, I get the pleasure of uh, there, Mike Gonzalez, a uh, Heritage Foundation uh, fellow, and he's he's an international correspondent, commentator, editor. He's reported from Asia, Europe, Latin America. He served with the George Bush administration and uh, written a great book, and that was with the Security Exchange Commission then and, and at the State Department under Bush. But but then he, he's written a great book, uh, A Race for the Future, How Conservatives Can Break the Liberal Monopoly on Hispanic Americans, so we're kind of doing the intro up front, but it, it's just amazing, Rick, you know, baseball great Kurt Schilling, he's been blackballed now from ESPN mm -hmm. for his comments, uh, defending, if you will, the Christian faith on, on the issue of LGBT, and we're going to talk about that because there's some Orwellian things that, that, that ESPN is doing about, you know, baseball great Kurt Schilling, and we're going to have some great commentary on this because where are we going, America? Where are we going? You know, our First Amendment to our Constitution is, is is freedom of speech. And Kurt Schilling, Schilling made a comment on Twitter on his personal time, on his personal Twitter account that CNN took offense, not um, ESPN and the executives there took offense to and Kurt Schilling was fired from his job, and he was also, uh, there was a piece of video that was removed. Uh, the, one of the famous pieces 
a video about his bloody sock during the playoffs. ESPN decided to remove it from a promo that they were doing in preparation for the series between the Yankees and the Red Sox. So, political correctness. Uh, Run amok. You know, it, it sure has. In, in, in every uh, you know, cultural uh, phase here in America, it would be in the military, in, in, in how we look at Christian history of our country, and all these things are all coming together. Uh, and we're going to focus on that with, with Mike, and that what a what a what a grand interview I think that's going to be with mm-hmm. us. And then, gosh, we get to go back then what four oh thirty five, Doctor Gerard Giannoli, and he specializes in neurooptology and skull based surgery. By the way, I had that uh, I had a head injury in nineteen eighty five, and uh, was in a coma for a week. Wow, a fall in the shower, and uh, so I can relate and. He, he's been working since 2001 as a third-party free practice. Uh, since 2005, he gave up his Medicare in 2001, it looks like. And uh, he's written and lectured extensively. Uh, and what a great time. You know, just two days ago, uh, I was just having Sunday, just having some lunch, and uh, I was talking to some folks, and the question came back, well, what are you Republicans going to do to replace Obamacare? You keep talking about repeal and replace. What are you going to do? You know, and I offered to the, to the nice people, <laughs> the nice couple at the table. I go, well, Bobby Jindal has a great plan. I go, I go, we'll have to coalesce and 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 vote in the best the best practices. Mm-hmm. But there's surely stuff out there that's enormously better than, than how Obamacare is playing out. Absolutely. Or I see terrible increases in their terrible increases, Rick, and you know this uh, in their premiums and in their care and the quality of care. Premiums, uh, deductibles, we were, to, we were sold a bill of goods. You know, I've, I've asked the question before, J.D., or have made the statement that if, if a private company made the promises that the Democrats and Obama made about Obamacare and the lies, the lies, the, the, the false truths, they, they would be sued. If it was a private company, they would be sued for fraud. Uh, no, because it's Obama, because it's 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 a government administration. While well, they can get away with it, but in my opinion, they should be sued for fraud. Yeah, I wish that came to play. Yeah, I do more and more in politics because there's so many uh, fraudulent claims about other opponents, about other people in the races, about what they say is going to happen with this piece of legislation, that piece of legislation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and. But oh, I, the horror stories of Obamacare are, are everywhere, in spite of the fact that Harry Reid said that all Obamacare horror stories are untrue. You remember that? He said that on the Senate floor. A terrible blanket statement. Well, I have friends here who've lost their policies. I have friends back here in Indianapolis who, at one time, prior to Obamacare, made, paid $9 for, for their uh, their meds. And after Obamacare, it went into triple digits. Oh, wow. Monthly? Well, your friends uh, are not alone, JD. Your friends are not alone when it comes to that. Uh, so we're having great stuff today, and uh, it, it, these are cutting edge issues. And we just have a way of peeling back that onion on the Concerted Commandos radio show and letting people, mm-hmm. like Lincoln said, know the facts mm-hmm. and be free people again. Yeah. And, uh, well, J.D., let's take our break now. You are listening to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Manier and Rick Trader. And a Little will be joining us shortly. And we're coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeart Radio, AM, FM 24-7, Red State Talk Radio. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. On the other side, we'll be speaking with Cliff Kincaid from Accuracy and Media about campus conservatives and pro-lifers fight for truth. Don't go away. We'll be right back. 
You heard Paul Delt playing the music on the Your Music Matters Morning Show. He is also an experienced mortgage loan officer working for U.S. Mortgage Corporation and assists homeowners navigate the reverse mortgage process. If you are finding yourself asking questions whether or not you set aside enough for retirement, Paul can sit down with you, your family, and your financial advisor and discuss how a reverse mortgage may be a valuable resource for your retirement plan. You will be responsible for paying your taxes and insurance, and the reverse mortgage can help with this and other expenses, such as home health care or other untimely bills. Put Paul's 20 plus years of experience to work for you, as choosing the right option for your situation can be critical. Call Paul at U.S. Mortgage Corporation at 877-213-9977. That's 877-213-9977. Or go to SeniorMatters.info for more information. U.S. Mortgage Corporation is a licensed mortgage banker in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware, and an equal housing lender. NMLS number 3901. U.S. Mortgage Corporation is located at 201 Old Country Road, Suite 140, Melville, New York, 11747. This advertisement applies to first lien mortgages. Paul E. Dilks, NMLS, is 485904. Hi, we're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival and a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweetener right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765 641 9972. 765 641 9972. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology? To be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCS4Automation.com. That's PCS, the number four, automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We're establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired as I am about the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around the world on the internet at wnjcradio.com check out our websites conservative commandos radio network.com and ccrn.com for rebroadcasts and network updates we are the conservative commandos radio network where even more newsmakers go to be heard i think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Ow, ow. Climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. Ow, ow, ow. I did not email any classified material to anyone. Ow. There is no classified material. Ow, ow. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. Ow, ow. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This camp is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. From the 
East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet. We're coming to you live from the CCRS studios, WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Muneer and Rick Trader. And for rebroadcasts of our shows, check out our websites, ccrshow.com or ccrsnetwork.com or mornings at 9 a.m. log on to leadingedgeradionetwork.com at 1 p.m. roarradio.net or at 9 p.m. log on to highplainsdailynews.com or you can hear our show any time of the day from your telephone by calling 832-999-1199 Our first guest today is Cliff Kincaid He is the director of the Accuracy Media Center for Investigative Journalism. Cliff is a veteran journalist and media critic. He currently specializes in election coverage, the Fairness Doctrine, coverage of the the UN, and coverage of financial bailouts. Cliff appears on TV and radio programs across the country, including CBS Evening News, NBC Today Show, Lou Dobbs Tonight, and I could go on and on and on. But Cliff, welcome back to Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Rick, great to be with you. Great to have you with us once again. And we've asked you to join us today to talk about your most recent blog on Accuracy of Media Blogs at Campus Conservatives and Pro-Life Fight for Truth. And Cliff, in your story, you talk about discrimination among, cons- uh, I, or I should say, discrimination against conservatives on campus is a dramatic story. However, pro-lifers at colleges and universities across the country are pushing back. Cliff, this is great to hear because I, each and every day we hear and see stories how conservatives are being bashed on the college campuses. People are not allowed to speak out. Commencement speakers are not being are being disinvited because of their views. So your your uh, story is a breath of fresh air. I wanted to give you some good news, Rick. Uh, I've been writing about some of the problems on the campuses uh, about a while, week or so ago. I wrote about how I had been invited up to a campus. Uh, it's called SUNY New Paltz mm-hmm. in Upper New York to be part of a left right debate about media coverage of the campaign, and they canceled the debate because I was in it. <laughs> Uh, How can you have a left-right debate unless you have somebody on the right? <laughs> well, they uh, just <laughs> want me. Uh, it's the first time, by the way, I think uh, a conservative has been disinvited from a college campus who was actually part of a debate. <laughs> no uh, I don't mean, I'm sorry, Cliff, I don't mean to laugh, but it, this that's, it's ridiculous. It is, it is. And uh, I've, I told the story at the time I was actually sitting in the airplane at uh, Reagan National Airport on the tarmac ready to go up to Albany for the debate and got the call that I had to get off the plane. But, uh, so I've been writing about this uh, and, and all these useless courses that are being taught on colleges like queer studies. Uh, but then I thought, you know, I better write about something good. And I found out about uh, Students for Life, uh, a group headed by somebody named Kristen Hawkins, Mm-hmm. They got hundreds of college chapters out there. Uh, they're they're out there uh, uh, promoting the pro life point of view, bringing speakers to campuses. And I thought this is one great success story from our side of the political spectrum. It is indeed. And Cliff, what I want to do is I want to just mention some of these co- the, some of these universities, and I would like you to fill in for our listeners what's going on and. Your first one you talk about in your article is Notre Dame. Uh, 
Yeah. And uh, at Notre Dame, they're giving pro-life abortion Vice President Joe Biden the oldest and most prestigious honor according to... Uh, accorded to uh, American Catholics. I mean, we're talking Notre Dame here. We're talking about a Catholic university. And then we're talking about Joe Biden, who is a pro-abortion. He was a pro-abortion senator. He's a pro-abortion vice president. He's in one of the most pro-abortion administrations of all time. And yet you got Notre Dame giving him an award. Oh, and it's just one of several Catholic uh, colleges. I mentioned in the article no- Notre Dame, uh, Loyola, Marymount, uh, Georgetown. Uh, the Catholic colleges and universities have really fallen down on their mission. And it's not just me saying so. Uh, Catholic groups, true Catholic, real Catholic groups at these colleges are speaking out. They're protesting Biden getting this award. Uh, they're active at Georgetown. Uh, they're active at Loyola Marymount University, where um, they're asking Bill Clinton uh, to give their 2016 commencement address. Uh, Catholics out in your audience who are... Which I'm one of, by the way. Yes, and, and I am too, who are concerned about the direction of the church and especially the direction of their educational institutions of higher learning should take a look. You know, let's, let's again, going down this list, and you mentioned Loyola Marymount University, and, you, and you're right here, another well-known Catholic university has asked disgraced pro-abortion former President Bill Clinton to give the 2016 commencement address. That's right, and it's, it's another disgrace, uh, like the invitation to Biden, but I'll tell you, as somebody whose youngest son is going on a college tour, trying to pick out a college when he graduates uh, from high school, uh, we were recently at Georgetown, which is in the D.C. area, and the student tour guide who took us around the school uh, was bragging about the fact that they've had Bill Clinton there, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton. In fact, Georgetown, which is the oldest Jesuit institution of higher learning in the country, uh, was actually founded uh, by John Carroll, uh, who became an archbishop, whose cousin, uh, Charles Carroll, uh, had signed the Declaration of Independence. Was, I think, the, one of the only Catholics to do that, by the way. The only. The only. The only, the only Catholic, Catholic to sign the Declaration. Right. Ca- Catholics... Um, uh, were, were discriminated against at the beginning of our country right? because it was mostly a Protestant uh, 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 revolution, let's face it. But, but uh, the Catholics have then uh, taken advantage of this by w- watering down their institutions. Uh, I talk about going into Georgetown, going into an auditorium where they held, had this uh, saying, this quotation from this Jesuit about uh, building a new earth. Uh, basically one world globalism well it was at georgetown a few years ago barack obama came there to speak and they covered up the crucifix the sign of of christianity they covered they covered at georgetown university also in your article you you remind us that um georgetown also hosted Cecile Richards, who is the president of Planned Parenthood. It's an outrage, and uh, here again, uh, where I mention repeatedly in my piece, uh, Rick, uh, the Students for Life uh, was active on the campus. They brought in a former director of a Planned Parenthood affiliate who talked about uh, the killing that goes on in these uh, clinics. Uh, She's actually in charge of a group now that tries to get uh, people in the abortion industry to leave. Mm-hmm. basically repent uh, it's a group called and then there were none so uh, students for life is active on a lot of these campuses it's a really a great young people student group that uh, we should be uh, sounding uh, the good news about i totally agree hey cliff we got to take a, a quick break can you hold on first please of course because i know my co-host shady Minier also would like to uh speak with you but you are listening to the conservative commandos radio show with jd Minear and rick trader coming to you live from the studios of the conservative commandos radio network 
at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, Rebooting Liberty, up oh, that was one of the old ones, <laughs> AM, FM, 24-7, Red State Talk Radio, we're everywhere, we're everywhere. Don't go away. We'll be right back with our, gla- our guest, Cliff Kincaid from Accuracy and Media. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We are establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired of the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 2 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 on your AM dial, or around the world on the Internet at WNJCRadio.com. Check out our website, CCRSNetwork.com, for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where now even more newsmakers go to be heard. We're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival and a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweetener right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765 641 9972. 765 641 9972. I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free. <coughs> Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. <coughs> Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to Conservative Commandos with J.D. Muneer and yours truly, Rick Trader. For a rebroadcast of our shows, some people call them podcasts, check out our website, ccrshow.com or ccrsnetwork.com, or mornings at 9 a.m., log on to leadingedgeradionetwork.com at 1 p.m., roarradio.net at 9 p.m., highplainsdailynews.com. You could also hear our show anytime from your telephone by calling 832-999-1199. Our guest this segment is Cliff Kincaid. He's the director of the Accuracy in Media Center for Investigative Journalism. And we're talking about campus conservatives and pro-lifers fight for truth. Cliff, thanks for holding through that break. We appreciate your time. My pleasure. Uh, In your article, you talk about what's going on at the University of North Georgia. That Students for Life, the group we're talking about, 
revealed photographs of decapitated baby cookies that were taken at a pro-abortion rally. Unbelievable. Decapitated cookies? Yeah, this was an incredible one. The pro-life group there uh, saw the display, uh, saw the uh, uh, decapitated cookies, the heads broken off, and publicized it. Uh, this was a display from a atheist group they called themselves skeptics and they were uh, it was a pro abortion display obviously and but it went beyond just the usual uh, junk about a woman's right to choose to actually depicting the babies in the form of cookies uh, their heads broken off oh my god now you know cliff if we would show pictures of the pieces of a baby after an abortion, they would say, oh, you're terrible people, you're, you're being horrendous by showing those pictures. But what we're doing is we're showing the results of what abortion does. Right. Yeah, it's... it's um, and incredible. It is incredible. The pro-life group, though, the Students for Life for America, uh, I've just been amazed at how effective they are. And it's one issue uh, where... I think a lot of young people are naturally drawn to the pro-life cause. With our uh, uh, column up at the AIM.org site, we have a picture uh, showing a pro-life girl, a uh, college student who says, you know, one-third of my generation is dead. Mm. Uh, and, and, and a lot of these young people realize that if it weren't, and we're coming upon Mother's Day, if it weren't for their mothers uh, believing in the cause of the right to life, mm. uh, they'd be dead. Absolutely. And uh, here on Conservative Commanders, we're talking with Cliff Kincaid, the Director of Accuracy and Media, Center for Investigative Journalism. Hey, Cliff, on the other line, I have my co-host, J.D. Minear, and uh, J.D. has some questions for you. Sure. Cliff, in, in these college campuses and universities are yanking funds uh, fr from pro-life groups so they can't even bring in speakers but my question now is digging deeper into the weeds uh, what percentage are cases where I mean they're just flat out prohibiting them from ever bringing on conservative speakers and what percentage are they're just saying they're pulling away the funds and maybe if, if other groups bought in the funds they still could come and speak how is that breaking down out there in the college campuses it's hard to know for sure uh, some of these cases involve student groups that pay their own money uh, use their own funds to bring in a, a speaker. Uh, in the case I was referring to earlier involving myself, I was supposed to be part of a debate with a left-winger by the name of Jeff Cohen. He's actually a professor at Ithaca College. Uh, that uh, event was going to be sponsored by the Student Activities Board uh, using um, uh, university money. Uh, it wasn't a very expensive event. They ended up, uh, because they canceled it at the last moment, they ended up uh, having to pay for it anyway. We're trying to reschedule it hopefully uh, later in the fall because after the cancellation, the university president contacted me and said, uh, Cliff, we made a mistake. Uh, we shouldn't have canceled the event. So the point is that when these things happen, if you're denied funds on a campus, uh, if you find some pushback, some resistance, uh, just keep pressing ahead. Uh, just keep uh, demanding free speech and academic freedom on campus. And um, uh, one other website um, I mentioned uh, where you can go for good information on this, even with complaints about what's happening on a college campus, is a website called campusreform.org. Uh, they have new cases or incidents almost every day of censorship on campus. Hmm. Well, Cliff, I think you may have answered a second very follow-up question, but I, is there a place where there's a database of all first violations of, of conservative students? And Because I, I know I've seen lists of how Obama and Rick Trader brought up the case of Georgetown covering up the crucifix, and there's this long, lengthy list after seven years of yeah. all these First Amendment violations and, and cover-ups and... and squelching by the Obama administration. I was just asking you, it, it sounds like campusreform.org is where people could go to, to find out all these atrocities. That's a good one. Let me give you another one. Um, there's one called FIRE, 
mm-hmm. and you go to their website, thefire.org. It's, it's, for, it's an acronym for Foundation for Individual Rights and in Education. And they have all kinds of information, again, similar to campus reform, uh, about these cases on college campuses. And I think uh, they actually have a running list, a running total. They have one uh, uh, section here called Cases, News, Resources. Uh, You can contact them if you're a student and you're finding some resistance. Uh, But, again, it's thefire.org, another another great source of information on what's happening on the campuses. One more thought came to my head. (laughs) A class action lawsuit, conservatives around the country file something against the American Association of University Presidents because it's gotten so bad, it, it, mm. it's, it's from sea to shining sea. Uh, well, <laughs> what do you think of that idea? Yeah, I, I, here's what I suggest. My, uh, my proposal is to defund a lot of this stuff directly. Uh, there's a, a case actually in Tennessee where the legislature has defunded the University of Tennessee and its diversity department, so-called. Uh, because it's just out of control. It's a waste of money. They're trying to enforce the way you use pronouns on campus. Uh, Just bizarre stuff. And so what we're suggesting is try to defund a lot of this stuff uh, that's useless. I would take it one step further, defund some of the queer studies departments. Uh, But in the ultimate analysis, what we're uh, proposing, what we're pushing for, is to bring a revolution to higher education like we've had in journalism. In other words, uh, go online. Let's encourage online learning. Let's get away from the brick-and-mortar institutions. Let's make it cheaper, more accessible, and uh, start emphasizing what most students want, which are training in marketable (laughs) schools. Cliff, I agree with you there. And you, when you talk about the cost, you also have to, there's some of these useless, senseless classes that kids are taking or are required to take, how that adds to the cost of tuition or to the burden on a taxpayer. Yeah, yeah. And then look, you know, look at some of these Bernie Sanders rallies. I've gone to them. You got students, a lot of young people there because they're in debt. Uh, student debt is at $1.2 trillion, uh, and they can't get jobs. Well, look, in some cases, that's their fault. They took anthropology, and they can't get a job. They took queer studies and got a Ph.D. in women's studies, and they can't get a job. Uh, but the fact is that they're paying too much to begin with, mm-hmm. and you don't solve that problem with more debt and more higher taxes. Well, part of the problem is is an administration. And many years ago, I heard a statistic using Rutgers here in New Jersey as an example that at one point the student to administrator radio, um, uh, um, ra- um, gee, what's the word? My terrible thing. Ratio. Thank you. Ratio was fourteen to one. Students mm. to administrators. Ten years later, it was three to one. Yeah. The student to administration ratio was three to one. Hey, Cliff, we got about two minutes. One more point you make here in your article I wanted you to comment on was the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. Oh, this group, it, it, this is... This is the group that's really behind the cancellation of the debate that I was supposed to have at SUNY New Paltz. Because some faculty member, it wasn't a student, some faculty member objected to me because she Googled, Googled my name and found out I was on a list compiled by the Southern Poverty Law Center of extremists. <laughs> and so that was good enough for her. Nobody contacted me for my response, my opinion. Uh, my side of the story, so that's why they canceled it. Yeah, I know. You're an extremist because you believe in the right to life, the right to free speech. So that makes you... And I believe in uh, DNA and traditional roles and and men and women getting married. Uh, yeah, it's this, this is why I'm an extremist. Yeah. And, and then, but one of the things I found out is that the Southern Poverty Law Center uh, now is starting its own uh, c- clubs on college campuses around the country, which which is going to make the problem even worse. But but look out for them uh, because they're part of the censorship wave 
on various campuses today. Cliff Kincaid, we, we, we want to thank you for joining us. We always appreciate your time. Please tell our audience where they could go for more information on Accuracy Media and also to follow your work. That's a, a, the best place to go is AIM.org for Accuracy and Media, AIM.org. Sign up for our free newsletter, and there's a lot more material there for your uh, perusal. Well, I get it every day. Excellent. Cliff Kincaid, thank you for joining us. Take care. God bless. Thank you. Anytime. And you are listening to the Conservative Commandos radio show with J.D. Muneer, Rick Trader, and hopefully real soon and a little, coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos radio network, WNJC 1360 in Philly, and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM 24-7, Red State Talk Radio. On the other side, we're going to be speaking with Mike Gonzalez of the Heritage Foundation. Be right back. Paul Deltz playing the music on the Your Music Matters Morning Show. He is also an experienced mortgage loan officer working for U.S. Mortgage Corporation and assists homeowners navigate the reverse mortgage process. If you are finding yourself asking questions whether or not you set aside enough for retirement, Paul can sit down with you, your family, and your financial advisor and discuss how a reverse mortgage may be a valuable resource for your retirement plan. You will be responsible for paying your taxes and insurance, and the reverse mortgage can help with this and other expenses, such as home health care or other untimely bills. Put Paul's 20-plus years of experience to work for you as choosing the right option for your situation can be critical call paul at u.s mortgage corporation at 877-213-9977 that's 877-213-9977 or go to seniormatters.info for more information u.s mortgage corporation is a licensed mortgage banker in new jersey pennsylvania and delaware and an equal housing lender nmls number 3901 u.s mortgage corporation is located at 201 old country road suite 140 melville new york 11747 this advertisement applies to first lien mortgages paul e dilks nmls is 4859 Hi, we're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival in a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweetener right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765-641-9972, 765-641-9972. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology, to be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCS4Automation.com. That's PCS, the number four, automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We're establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired as I am about the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 a.m. or around 
around the world on the internet at WNJCRadio.com. Check out our websites, Conservative Commandos Radio Network.com and CCRN.com for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free. Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet, we're coming to you live from the CCRS studios, WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show, where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Muneer. I'm Rick Trader. And Hopefully, Anna Little will be joining us soon, but uh, we're coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network at WNJC 1360. And for rebroadcast, check out our websites, and or you can log on your computer at 9 a.m. in the morning by logging on to LeadingEdgeRadioNetwork.com at 1 p.m. RoarRadio.net. At 9 p.m., HighPlainsDailyNews.com. Or you can hear our show and all the shows with Conservative Commandos Radio Network by calling 832-999-1199. J.D., our next guest is with us, and the honor of the introduction is yours, so please take it away. Well, Mike Gonzalez is a senior fellow at the Heritage Foundation. He's a widely experienced international correspondent, commentator, and editor, reported from Asia, Europe, and Latin America. He served in the George Bush administration, first at the Securities and Exchange Commission, then at the State Department. That's George W. Bush. And his book, A Race for the Future, How Conservatives Can Break the Liberal Monopoly on Hispanic Americans, was published this past September. Welcome back to the Conservative Commando Radio Show, Mike. Thank you for having me, guys. It was great to be with you guys. Hey, please set this stage now for our radio audience about Kurt Schilling. Looks like an Orwellian style omission of his famous bloody sock win against New York Yankees in those playoffs. Uh, let, let everybody know about that. Well, uh, you know, Kurt uh, Schilling, who's, uh, as we all know, a, a very good uh, former pitcher, uh, was hired by ESPN and was a commentator. And then uh, he, he made some admittedly uh, <coughs> controversial comments uh, throughout his career, but apparently uh, a few weeks ago he put out this meme about the use of uh, uh, of bathrooms by uh, by men or women who who think uh, who believe that they are <clears throat> not of the sex of their birth, and uh, he got into hot water over that and was promptly fired by ESPN uh, for making those comments. Uh, so I uh, uh, I wrote a piece after uh, an incident that occurred uh, recently, a couple of days ago. When ESPN, uh, not content with having fired uh, Schilling, which, which has every right to do, by the way, companies can 
and should live by their principles, just just like Christian bakers can and should live by their principles. Um, uh, but they they aired a documentary uh, of that 2004 uh, championship uh, uh, series, American League uh, championship series, and they they left out the most important game, arguably, of that game, which was the bloody socks, the bloody sock game. Uh, that's just amazing. Uh, I mean, one of the most famous uh, baseball events in history. So now where are we going with this? You know, Joe Montana, let's say he comes out against Joe Biden receiving these awards up at the University of Notre Dame because Joe Biden is so pro-abortion. So now the ESPN, you know, those classic videos, are they going to leave out the Dwight Clark touchdown in the end zone? I mean, that, that's what I, yeah. Uh, I mean, where... That's what I said. I mean, I, I actually made a, uh, an analogy with what this, the Soviets used to do. And I don't know if you were listeners. Uh, remember, in the Soviet Union, uh, it, was, uh, it was common practice when a commissar uh, fell out of favor with Stalin or Brezhnev or, or uh, Kosygin or, or, or Khrushchev. Uh, they would just be uh, airbrushed out of photographs. You know, the, the, the negative would be taken back, right back to the dark, uh, dark room. And uh, whoever fell out of favor uh, was just airbrushed out of history. So, in other words, they, they were not content with killing that person and sending their relatives to Siberia. That person had to be expunged from collective history. Now, obviously, you know, this, I'm not, the analogy is it's very imperfect. It only doesn't go. It do, it, it, it do, it's not a perfect analogy by any means. Hey, Mike but, and JD, I think I think the Russians learned that from the Egyptians. <laughs> when the Egyptians didn't like somebody, they did, they would go to their their temple or their monument or whatever, and they they would chisel off their face, and sometimes they would chisel in the face of the new pharaoh, and then when that pharaoh was deposed, they would chisel off that face and put somebody else's face on there. Is that true? I would know that. If I had known that, I would have put that in. That's <laughs> that that's true. If you, if you ever have the opportunity to go to Egypt, which I had uh, about five or six years ago before there was such turmoil this is one of the things that you'll learn you'll you'll see these these sculptures or these hieroglyphics that are just chiseled out you think well is it age what is it no it was done on purpose uh, also i think in the time of the ancient greeks and romans when a uh, when a ruler fell out of favor they would break off their nose off their f off their statue or whatever they would disfigure them by that breaking the nose. Interesting. That is why there are so many statues today with broken noses. Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, if I could tell uh, something a little off color, <laughs> uh, apparently, apparently, a lot of statues, you know, are nude, right? <clears throat> and males have appendages that kind of protrude from the body. While in a lot of these statues. That male part of the anatomy is broken off too, because supposedly, um, for instance, like in again referring back to the Egyptians, the 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 statue represents that person as they would be in the next world. Okay, so if you're disfigured, if you don't have a nose, if you don't have other body parts, how that's apparently how you're supposed to look in your next life. Well, I, I would have tried to have found a way to write that uh, in two had I known. And thanks for that bit of uh, uh, history. I, didn't, I, I, I did not know that. And, and, J.D., sorry to interrupt your interview, but, you know, the, the bloody socks story, you cannot tell. How can you tell a, his, a, a chronicle a history or an event like that? playoff game without talking about the bloody sock? That bloody sock is in the Hall of Fame. But it's you know, not on ESPN. Let me tell you, as a, uh, I wrote in my piece that uh, this year I celebrate uh, four decades as a Yankee fan. and uh, That's it. You're never coming it, back. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> you're never coming back into Philly's territory. But, but we love you, Mike, anyway. Sorry about that. You me to write this piece. Because <laughs> if anybody has a right to, to want that game, not just airbrushed out of uh, record. Uh. But airbrushed out of actual history, it, as it, it never happened. It's me. Obviously, if 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 Kurt Schilling, whom I like, I'm not a Sox hater, but I'm a Yankee lover. And and if he had if he had done that for the Yankees, that would be the greatest game of my life. Mm. But 
but he didn't. He did it against the Yankees. And, and but here's the thing. I mean, look, uh, as Simon and Garfunkel, and I hope I, I'm not, uh, you know, using a, a reference that, that goes over the, the younger listeners. Simon and Garfunkel, a very, 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 very well known uh, music uh, writers uh, in the '60s, wrote, wrote that famous line, "Where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio?" Which right. was the, a, 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 you know, it was kind of like in sorrow, right? We have lost all our heroes. Mm-hmm. Well, this guy p- pitched a heroic game, one of the most heroic games in the three-century history of baseball, and it gets taken out, really? It's ridiculous. Unbel- unbelievable, Mike. And uh, let's talk a little bit about, on a positive side, you know, the target bathroom policy, you know, supporting gender identity. Now we've got over 1 million petitions against it, and people are starting to boycott Target. Uh, what say you? Is that going to have an effect? Is that going to turn things around? Well, I mean, the way you look at the things, right? I mean, you, you as, as I wrote in my piece, it, 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 companies are accountable to their stock owners, stockholders. Companies are accountable to their employees. And companies are accountable to, to their, to, to their uh, customers, right? I mean, that's basically... The, that covers most of the, the, the stakeholders. And uh, uh, companies care a lot about the price of the stock. And apparently, I haven't checked it today, but apparently Target stock was really suffering. I mean, I, I think it, I, I don't want to name a price, so what I think it fell by, because I, I'm not sure, but I, 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 I understand that it fell by a lot because of this, uh, of, of this boycott. No, good. I, you know, I remember uh, people started boycott Ford, when they start putting all this lavish funds for, for, for gay pride events in various cities and that kind of thing. And, and uh, this was a couple of years ago, and now we've changed with Barack Obama in the presidency, but that had an effect. Ford changed their policy. This is a couple of years ago. And I, I do think boycotts are, are effective. And that, listen, radio listeners for Exterior Commander Radio Show, uh, vote your conscience, vote your feet. And... Uh, what else can we say, Mike? Uh, just, we've got to keep on plugging away here. Well, uh, my uh, what I tried to do, my goal was to just bring this out uh, so people can make up their own minds. I did say, you know, that that uh, the meme that Kurt Schilling shared was kind of crude, was actually very crude, and, and, uh, and, and kind of demeaning, and uh, that... that uh, that, that he's right on the on the science part. I mean, you know, you you're born, you got the chromosome. If you're born with a Y chromosome, you you have it. There's no way to part with it. Uh, you know, liberals say they love science, uh, and and the third stipulation is that Target, as a private company, can do whatever it wants. This is something that you know liberals never accept when it happens to them. They always say it, it's a violation of free speech. No, it isn't. You know, Kurt Schilling has every right as an American. He has a constitutionally protected right to say what he wants, uh, but he does not have a right to say what he wants while being employed by a company that does not agree with that view. And I, I, I think that ES, uh, ESPN was within its right to let him go if it disagreed with his principles. By the same token, I believe that Christian Baker's who do not want to participate in in, in, a, in a in a ceremony with which they don't agree, um, also have that right, right? I mean, we 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 should we should respect each other. We should, we really should have tolerance in this country. We should have tolerance for each other, and should we should respect each other's rights. Mike, those are great thoughts. Can you hold with us just a couple minutes? Got to go into a hard commercial break, and then we want to bring you right back. Sure. This is J.D. and Rick Trader, and we're coming to you live from Concerted Commandos Radio Network Studios, WNJC 1360, our flagship station in Philadelphia, and around the world on the Internet with the American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, Red State Talk Radio, and AM FM 24-7. The K98 
Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We are establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired of the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 2 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 on your AM dial, or around the world on the Internet at WNJCRadio.com. Check out our website, CCRSNetwork.com, for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where now even more newsmakers go to be heard. Hi, we're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival and a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweetener right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765 641 9972. 765 641 9972. I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free. <coughs> Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. <coughs> Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. The climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. You know? Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. If you'd like to hear a rebroadcast of today's show, please check out our website, www.ccrsnetwork.com www.ccrshow.com or in the mornings at 9 a.m. log on to leadingedgeradionetwork.com at 1 p.m. in the afternoon log on to www.roarradio.net and at 9 p.m. in the evening log on to highplainsdailynews.com Now you can listen to Concerted Commandos from any phone by calling 832-999-1199 Our guest is Mike Gonzalez and we're talking about this omission of Kurt Schilling's famous video off of ESPN and and welcome back, Mike. Hi, how are you? Yep. Hey, I've got. I want to get into the science because I think your article really brought something up, and I, I want to get your opinion and Rick's too. Uh, I thought North Carolina made a stab, uh, a, a strong stab with their bathroom bill, but but if you get into it exactly, they're saying you have to go into the bathroom of your birth certificate. And I've talked to Christina, my wife, about this. I'm concerned about that because these sex change operations. Are, are you know happening every day across this country and you're getting former men coming out looking like porn models women because of these sex change operations and I don't want my, my grandson in a bathroom with with somebody who, who looks like a porn model and uh, what say you could, could North Carolina revisit that and, and, and improve that by the way I, I, I want to break some news here apparently just coming over the transom now that uh, the U.S. Justice Department uh, has said that North Carolina's law violates federal civil rights law. Uh, not surprised. Not surprised that Obama's DOJ. 
Uh, it, it, it's coming across right now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. So that'll eventually go to the Supreme Court. It, it, um, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I would have to ask our department here. But that I'm not in the legal department. Uh, but uh, I would imagine that uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, that would probably be uh, contested. Uh, does that put a stay immediately? On, it doesn't on say. This is breaking or right or now. It just it was AP reporting it. <laughs> so it's just it's just wow. really being reported right now. What they're putting out is the urgent. They don't have leads yet. Well, you know, Mike, I, gotta, I want to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Are you a married man? Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm married. I you're married. A- and uh, you're a New York Yankees fan, right? <laughs> yeah. Have, you, have your wife ever gone to a game with you at Yankee Stadium? Uh, you know, I don't think she has. She has gone. We live in, in, the, in the Washington, D.C. area. You're right. Now, well, what I, I was going to say, by the way... Definitely go see the Nats. Yeah, we go see the Nats all the time. Well, what I was going to say, if, your wife, if you ever do take your wife to Yankee Stadium to see a game, considering New York's bathroom laws allows men in women's rooms wouldn't you feel safer if you went in with your wife if she had to go to the bathroom to protect her to stand by the stall to make sure that somebody's not peeking over or or taking a a picture or something Uh, (laughs) you know um I do not want to go into a women's bathroom. Well, uh, I don't either. But if it's to that. protect I, I, my wife, I, I, it's one of it's it's a it's a, you know I I would my God I can't imagine and no no and, and, uh, and Mike but, doesn't but, my, but I, I I know I understand your point. I yeah, doesn't your wife and my wife and JD's wife and every other woman have the right to go to to the bathroom in privacy and in comfort without the fear of a man being in there? I mean, what I'm getting at is what about the rights of the rest of us, Mike? What about the rights of the 99%? As you just said, come over the, just come over the wire that, that the bathroom laws in North Carolina have been knocked down. So the rest of us are, are made to feel uncomfortable for what? So uh, a tenth of 1% can feel comfortable? I mean that, that that is just said. You know, we haven't had a problem till now, and and why why create uh, a problem where one hasn't existed, in which you have to say that these things that you have to affirm. You know, people don't have to affirm anything they don't want to affirm. You know, they just don't. Yeah, uh, they they don't. Uh, you know, we have lived in this country, the best country on the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the Constitution was written in 1789, the Declaration of Independence in 1776, and this hasn't been a problem till now. Why, as you say, a very small minority raise this point right now and say that, that we have to change everything that we have been doing till now? I, I just don't understand. I mean, that we have either. to be civil to each other and, and tolerate each other and... We have been able, you know, yes, there have been many, we, we haven't always tolerated each other, and we we, right. we fix many things, thank God, with the Civil Rights Act. Mike, um, let me ask you another question, because we only have a couple of minutes. Let's talk about the First Amendment rights. Let's talk about Kurt Schilling's First Amendment rights. Right. And also the First Amendment rights of Bruce Springsteen and Brian Adams and anyone else who chooses not to go into North Carolina to, 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 to to perform because of this bathroom law. So on one hand, it's okay for Bruce Springsteen to exercise his First Amendment rights. And he's always oh, lionized for it. But when Kurt Schilling expresses his First Amendment rights, he's demonized. By the way, I, what I think it's even, I, I agree with you, and but what I think it's even uh, more hypocritical is I believe one of those bands that said, I'm not going to go to North Carolina, had just come back from a tour of the Middle East. Oh, yeah, here, here's here's another one for you. PayPal, who was supposed to build a facility in North Carolina to employ 400 people, they said, oh, well, we're not going to build a facility in North Carolina now. But they are putting a facility in Malaysia where if you're gay, you could be executed. You could be imprisoned. 
You could be whipped and beaten. That's okay, but not in North Carolina. Hey, Mike, we got to run, but we always appreciate you having coming on with us. Please tell our audience how they can follow your work. Yeah, we, 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 that piece that I wrote, which has gotten a lot of attention, is at the Daily Signal, which is the Heritage Foundation uh, news site. Uh, we, you can find me at heritage.org. Uh, if you, if it, and, and yeah, you can find my my uh, my Twitter handle there, which is at Gundisalvas, G U N D I S A L V U S, which is Gonzalez in Latin. And uh, I'd be very happy, uh, you know, to pray for for all of you listeners to come and and, and read our stuff. Mike Gonzalez, thank you so much. you got to come over from the dark side, Mike. That New York Yankee stuff, that just won't go. And become a Philly fan? Is that and become a Philly fan and and hurt and be in misery like the rest of us down here in the in the uh, Philadelphia area. We'll see what happens with the Caps tonight. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, Mike Gonzalez, thank you so much. Appreciate you. your Bye. time. Take care. God bless. Bye. And you are listening to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Muneer and Rick Trader coming to you live from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network at WNJC 1360 in Philadelphia and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM, 24-7, Red State Talk Radio. We are everywhere. We are everywhere. Don't go away. On the other side, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Gerald Giannoli about Obamacare and Medicare. Be right back. You've heard Paul Delt playing the music on the Your Music Matters Morning Show. He is also an experienced mortgage loan officer working for U.S. Mortgage Corporation and assists homeowners navigate the reverse mortgage process. If you are finding yourself asking questions whether or not you set aside enough for retirement, Paul can sit down with you, your family, and your financial advisor and discuss how a reverse mortgage may be a valuable resource for your retirement plan. You will be responsible for paying your taxes and insurance, and the reverse mortgage can help with this and other expenses, such as home health care or other untimely bills. Put Paul's 20 plus years of experience to work for you as choosing the right option for your situation can be critical. Call Paul at U.S. Mortgage Corporation at 877-213-9977. That's 877-213-9977. Or go to SeniorMatters.info for more information. U.S. Mortgage Corporation is a licensed mortgage banker in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware, and an equal housing lender. NMLS number 3901. U.S. Mortgage Corporation is located at 201 Old Country Road, Suite 140, Melville, New York, 11747. This advertisement applies to first lien mortgages. Paul E. Dilks, NMLS is 485 Hi, we're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival in a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product of the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweetener right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765 641 9972. 765 641 9972. What does it take to be the leader in production systems technology? To be the one company that solves production problems at any plant, for any product, and with any technology? It takes a 30-year record of success. It takes total mastery of complex technologies with a history of delivering success every time, without fail. Only one company can claim that high ground in manufacturing line optimization, data automation, and systems integration, and that's Philadelphia Control Systems. In factories worldwide, Philadelphia Control Systems programs, software, and engineering solutions deliver optimal performance and output flow with a record that can't be matched. Any plant, any product, any technology. Philadelphia Control Systems, the leader in production automation since 1982. 800-335-9811. PCSforAutomation.com. That's PCS, the number four, Automation.com. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding. 
to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We're establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired as I am about the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on WNJC Radio 1360 a.m. or around the world on the internet at wnjcradio.com. Check out our websites, conservativecommandosradionetwork.com and ccrn.com for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where even more newsmakers go to be heard. I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition-free. Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. Climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. From the East Coast to the West Coast and around the world on the Internet. We're coming to you live from the CCRS studios. WNJC 1360. This is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with your host, Rick Trader. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show where the newsmakers go to be heard. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Manier and Rick Trader. If you'd like to hear rebroadcasts of our shows, check out our websites, ccrshow.com or ccrsnetwork.com, or mornings at 9 a.m., log on to Leading Edge Radio Network.com at 1 p.m., roarradio.net, or at 9 p.m., highplainsdailynews.com. Or if that's not enough, you can hear our show from any telephone by calling 832-999-1199. Our next guest is Dr. Gerard Giannulli. He specializes in, and I hope I'm going to get this right, neurotology and skull base surgery. He is in private practice at the Ear and Balance Institute and is also a clinical associate professor in the departments of Oralaryngology and Pediatrics at at Tulane University School of Medicine. And Dr. Giannoli opted out of Medicare in 2001 and since 2005 had a 100% third-party free practice. He has lectured and written extensively on third-party free medical practices and free market medicine. And his editorials have have appeared in the Wall Street Journal, Forbes, Investors, Business Daily, The Hill, and all over the place. Dr. Gene Oli, welcome back to Conservative Commandos Radio Show. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be with you guys. I have to apologize. I have a cold and my voice is going on me. Actually, it sounds a little sexy, but my <laughs> my gate doesn't swing that way. But, Dr., thank you for... And please help me out. Neurotology? Neurotology uh, has to do with inner ear. Most of my practice has to do with uh, hearing loss and vertigo, dizziness problems. Wow. We need, I need to bring my wife down there to see it because she has a vertigo problem. 
Yep. That's what we do. Uh, Doctor, we want to thank you for joining us, and we've asked you to join us to talk about an article that you written. You have written, better to be a poor patient in the United States than a rich patient in a socialist system. Well, Doctor, what's well, Michael Moore, didn't he do a whole movie about this? We needed to go to Cuba for proper medical care? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, they, there's a, a big misconception, and it's been fostered by the, the liberal uh, media that everyone has it so much better in socialized systems. And I can tell you both personal experience from having gone to these other countries and worked there, as well as I have a, a international patient base where I see patients from Canada and, and the UK and Norway, etc., where I know their system is not nearly as good from the standpoint of access as we have. And in the editorial, I kind of pointed out some of the more prominent people that have been treated by these systems and have fled this system. Well, let's talk, let's talk about some of these prominent people, and let's start off right down there in Michael Moore's bastion of, of socialism and, and wonderful medical treatment, Fidel Castro. Right, right. Fidel Castro uh, had problems, and what he did was, instead of relying on the Cuban medical system, he flew in a Spanish surgeon. And then when he needed surgery, he went to Spain to have his surgery in a private free market hospital. Didn't stay in communist uh, Cuba for his medical care. I bet that was not in Michael Moore's movie, was it? No, it wasn't. I also want you to tell us about uh, Margaret Hutchin. Right. Margaret Hutchin was the former director of the National Health Service in the United Kingdom. Uh, she died in 2011 when her emergency surgery was delayed and canceled four times over the course of about 10 months. Whoa. And, uh, uh, emergen- uh, okay, doctor, please. I'm, I'm just a simple guy. I can barely pronounce these medical words, but please explain um, emergency surgery. <laughs> Delayed over four, ten, four times over 10 months, and the lady died? Right, exactly. You know, that's something that would never happen in the United States. And she was the director of the NHS, and please explain to our listeners what that, what that is. The, the National Health Service in the United Kingdom is their socialized medical system. And if you listen to these left-wing organizations like the Commonwealth Fund, they're the number one in, uh, social, excuse me, in a medical system in the world. And the problem is it's, it's you know, inherent with socialized systems. You're going to have waiting times and delays and waste that we don't see in the United States. Um, and... Uh, the one thing you do see in socialized systems, though, even though money won't buy you more care, mm-hmm. often political uh, positions and influence can get you uh, further ahead in the system. Well, Margaret Hutchin was probably about as politically influential as they have for the NHS in the United Kingdom, and it didn't get her any better care at all. And she wound up dying as a result of staying in the system. The thing that surprised me about her is not so much the, about the delays. That doesn't surprise me at all from everything I've heard about their system. What is surprising is that she didn't come to the United States or go to Spain or some other free market enterprise to get her emergency surgery. Well, maybe she was a woman of principle, actually. <laughs> hey, Dr. Giannoli, before we go to a break, I want uh, another person I'd like you to talk about. Uh, first of all, my wife and I have a very good friend. Her name is Rita. She has dual citizenship, Canadian, U.S. She married American. But she she always talks about the wonderful health care system in Canada. So um, tell us about that. And um, Canadian Prime Minister Danny Williams. Yeah, actually, that's a little, that's a misprint. It's Canadian Premier uh, Danny Williams, I think of Saskatchewan, came to the United States when he needed heart surgery. And that was, of course, a big brouhaha because he didn't want to stay within the Canadian system and and go through the waits. Uh, As it turns out, we are the uh, safety net for Canada. 40,000 Canadian citizens every year come to the United States for health care. Well, that's... 30,000. Well, Dr. Ginoli, could you hold on? We have to take a break. And when we come back, 
We'll talk about why so many Canadians come to the U.S., okay? Absolutely. And you are listening to the Conservative Commandos radio show with J.D. Muneer and Rick Trader coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos radio network at WNJC 1360 in Philly and around the world on the Internet with American Patriots Broadcasting, Talk Stream Live, SHR Media, K98 Talk, iHeartRadio, AM, FM, 24-7, Red State Talk Radio. Our guest this segment is Dr. Gerald Giannoli, and we're talking about the wonderful health care system in all those socialized countries. Boy, we should be jealous, right? I don't think so. Be right back. The Conservative Commandos Radio Show is expanding to become the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. We are establishing a front line of conservative radio broadcasters and ironclad patriots to declare war against the madness of liberalism and the Obama administration. Are you tired of the disregard for our Constitution? Do you still have faith in the American dream? Are you looking for sensible, smart radio? If so, listen to the Conservative Commandos Radio Network every weekday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 2 to 6 p.m. on WNJC Radio, 1360 on your AM dial, or around the world on the Internet at WNJCRadio.com. Check out our website, CCRSNetwork.com, for rebroadcasts and network updates. We are the Conservative Commandos Radio Network, where now even more newsmakers go to be heard. We're David and Patty Berrickman of Wildflower Ridge Honey, beekeepers for 49 years. I want to tell you about a great survival and a multi-use product called Trail Rations. It is pure honey and a product in the USA. Trail Rations comes in a food-grade, 12-ounce, very durable and reusable pouch, ready for immediate use or for long-term storage because honey is the only food that never spoils. Honey is instant energy and goes right straight to your bloodstream. Honey is one of the best all-natural survival foods, natural sweet right straight from Mother Nature. Honey is also antiviral, fungal, and bacterial. It's your first aid in a pouch. Carry one in your backpack or your bug out bag. Find us on Facebook, Wildflower Ridge Honey, or call 765-641-9972. 765-641-9972. I think we should make public colleges and universities tuition free. <coughs> Climate change is directly related to the growth of terrorism. <coughs> Remove the federal prohibition on marijuana. The climate change poses immediate risks to our national security. I did not email any classified material to anyone. There is no classified material. Certainly well aware of the uh, classification uh, requirements. We have a lot to learn from democratic socialist governments that have existed in countries like Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Norway. This campaign is about a political revolution to transform this country. (laughs) Now more than ever, we need our voice in Washington. Now more than ever, we need Sharon Angle in Washington. Go to runsharonangle.com and help us draft Sharon Angle to run for U.S. Senate. You can call the Conservative Commandos Radio Show at 856-227-1360. Your opinion counts at 856-227-1360. This is Congressman Alan West, and you're listening to the Conservative Commando Radio Show. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with J.D. Muneer and Rick Trader. That's me. If you'd like to hear rebroadcasts of our shows, check out our websites, ccrshow.com or ccrsnetwork.com or 9 a.m. Log on to leadingedgeradionetwork.com at 1 p.m. roarradio.net at 9 p.m. highplainsdailynews.com or you could hear our shows anytime from your telephone by calling 832-999-1199. Our guest this segment is Dr. Gerard Giannoli. He is in private practice at the Ear and Balance Institute, and he's also a clinical associate professor in the departments of orolaryngology and pediatrics at Tulane University Medical 
School of Medicine. Doctor, thanks for holding through that break. We appreciate your time. Sure. Doctor, before we went on a break, we were talking about the the Premier of Canada, Danny, Danny Williams, who came to the United States for heart surgery. Now, maybe he knew something, and maybe a lot of Canadians are learning about this, uh, the, the need to come to the United States, because it seems like in Canada, which is not exactly third world, you kind of wait a little while to get to a doctor, don't you? Absolutely. The, uh, the Fraser Institute did a survey and looked at what is the median wait time to get in to be treated by a specialist in Canada. And the average, excuse me, not the average, the median wait time was 18.3 weeks, so roughly four and a half months. And in Saskatchewan, it was... Now, this is for primary care? No, this is a referral from a primary care doctor to, to a, a specialist. To a specialist. Right, okay. You can't just walk into a specialist office in Canada like you can in the United States. Uh-huh. Now, compare that to the United States where Merritt Hawkins did a survey of most of the, of the large metropolitan areas in the United States, and the average uh, wait time to get into a physician was about two weeks. Um, you know, the, and the, the interesting thing about it, if you looked at where the biggest wait times were, it's always Boston, Massachusetts, where they have their version of Romney Care that's been running there. And they're basically about twice as long as just about anywhere else in the country. Dr. Gianoli, I've had, I've had experience with going to my doctor to, for, for referrals. And I've never, and okay, when I had this, when I'm thinking back, uh, I did not wait two weeks to get a referral. It was pretty, uh, pretty, almost oh, instantaneous. I, I should, I but did, this was this was seven seven or eight years ago, sir. But since that time, in the last year, we the wife and I have lost two of our doctors, and a third doctor who we were going to try to get into her practice. She left the medical field, so right now we are without a primary care doctor. And the last time the wife and I are, were sick, we ended up going to one of these mini clinics that is in a pharmacy today and being seen by a nurse pe- practitioner. Yeah, there's there's been a flight of doctors out of private practice. Since the advent of Obamacare, roughly half of the doctors in private practice have left private practice to either retire or become employees of uh, large corporate entities like, you know, with these large multi-specialty practices yeah. or hospital employees. Well, doctor, you know, which could lead me to question or to ask you, you've opted out of Medicare. You opted out of Medicare in 2001. And since 2005, uh, you run a, a third-party free practice. I mean, how's that working out for you? It works out great. My patients love it because they get more access to me. They get as much time as they need. Uh, I'm not stuck with having the, the insurance company or the government looking over my shoulder telling me what to do for my patient and try to micromanage our care. And consequently, I have patients that are much happier and have better outcomes. Well, doctor, you know, people, a lot of people say, well, uh, just because socialized medicine hasn't worked in other places, we can make it work. We can make it work in the United States. And after all, here in the United States, we do have uh, Obamacare. We also have a branch of socialized medicine in the Veterans Administration. And that's working out terrifically, right? <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. The VA system has, has worked poorly uh, for a long time, and they have the same problems that you see in Canada and the United Kingdom, which is mainly long, long wait times. And if you remember, we had the VA wait scan or delay scandal of 2014, where a probe found that 40 veterans died waiting to get into the VA hospital in Phoenix. Well, they're not sick anymore. Yeah, right, exactly. They, they, you know, a lot of them are listed as still waiting. Uh, and then they started investigating, and they found out you know, there was 120,000 veterans in 40 different VA systems that are, were left waiting or never got scheduled at all. And it's a problem that continues to this day. It's inherent with socialized systems. 
Yeah, I mean, anybody who likes dealing with the government, I guess they haven't been to the post office recently either. Here on Conservative Commandos Radio Show, we're speaking with Dr. Uh, Gerard Gianoli. And Dr. Gianoli, my co-host, uh, J.D. Benier, is with us, and he has a question or two for you. Yes, sir. Well, I kind of have a question and a comment. Uh, it's been a few years back, but I, I got to meet uh, a doctor of a, a daughter of a doctor at, at CBN in Virginia, and she reported that Saddam Hussein definitely chose to go outside his his system, and and her father was his doctor, and and he required he said he had to have a Christian doctor uh, to to operate on him. So. Uh, we talk about Europe, we talk about Canada, but what about the Middle East and those socialized systems? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the, the bottom line with socialized systems, the people that run them, it's good for all everybody else, but not for me. I'm going to go elsewhere and get my health care is the bottom line. If they don't, they pay for it with their lives like uh, Margaret Hutchin in the in national health system did. Hey, doctor, what? Talk of- I'm sorry. Go ahead, J.D. Repeal and replace Obamacare. That, that, that's that's what we're talking about with the Republican Party. And uh, are you want to weigh in on on some of the suggestions that we we fashion legislation coming up in 2017 on this? Sure. I, I think whatever we do that moves us closer to a true free market in medicine is going to make things more efficient, lower cost, and better quality. And I would point to refractive eye surgery or LASIK surgery, cosmetic surgery, those are things that are in the true free market. They're not encumbered by the government and by uh, third-party payers like the insurance. And what we've seen in those industries is reduced cost while the quality has improved dramatically. I mean, just look at the advertisements for LASIK surgery. You can get it almost as cheap as a pair of glasses now. Uh, the same thing that could happen for the rest of medicine if we actually let free market principles arise. The problem is we have not had a true free market in medicine since 1965. Doctor, um, I wanted to ask you if you knew anything about Trump care or about Donald Trump's plan for our health care. Can you enlighten us? On any part of it? Sure. Uh, You know, I think, you know, be honest with you, looking at Donald Trump's health care plan, I think he just took some of the Republican talking points and kind of slapped them together, uh, not so coherently. But there's one aspect about his health care that I, or health care plans that I really like is transparent pricing. Mm. Because right now, uh, I, I defy anyone to go and find out how much it would cost to get their gallbladder taken out tomorrow. <laughs> and, uh, nobody would be able to do it because the, the doctors don't know how much it's going to cost. The hospital can't tell you. And it's because there's such opaqueness in pricing. And, and, and doctor, it, isn't there a game that also goes on between a doctor, between doctors and uh, Medicaid and Medicare and and Blue Cross and Blue Shield that doctors have to inflate their prices to get something similar to what they would normally charge for the services? Well, for the doctors, not so much because it, for the doctors, it's just take it or leave it. But the hospitals do a lot of games. Uh, and, uh, you know, like you'll hear about somebody who goes into the emergency room and comes out with an $11,000 bill for a sinus infection. And, you know, the reality is nobody ever pays an $11,000 bill for a sinus infection. But if that person doesn't have insurance, you can bet the hospital is going to send them a bill. And when they don't pay it, the hospital is going to turn to the government and say, see, we gave away $11,000 of free care, and they're going to get their uh, tax refund, if you would, from the government for it. And that's part of what's the basis behind that. Doctor, um, doctor, we got to run, and I wanted to give you an opportunity to please tell our audience how they could keep track of your work. Oh, uh, sure. I, I'm very active on Twitter at Jared Gianoli. Uh, I also have our website is earandbalance.net, and I'm a very active participant of the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons. Now, doctor, I want to. I want you to stay away from all those sick people. So the next time we have you on, you don't have a cold. Yes, sir. Well, doctor, 
Gerald Giannoli, I want to thank you so much for joining us here on the Conservative Commandos. Anytime. My pleasure. Take care. God bless. Hey, J.D., I want to thank you for sitting in today as my co-host. I also want to thank our guest, Cliff Kincaid, Mike Gonzalez. That's what happens when I try to talk fast. Mike Gonzalez from Heritage Foundation and Dr. Gerald Giannoli. But for right now, we're out of time. we got to run. we got to go. Take care. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow on the radio. This is 1360 AM WNJC, Washington Township, Philadelphia's Renaissance Radio Station. Brought to you by Forsyth Broadcasting. Listen online at 1360radio.com. Get ready to fight from within. You're about to go behind enemy lines on WNJC. Go ahead. Target is surrounded.